What's going on, guys? This is me again, Sparks with the Ultima. Just want to give you a quick update. I know I'm on my phone right now, but I got a lot of people commenting and uh, talking to me about the swap and uh, different issues they're having with the CVT. Um, CVT is just garbage, you know? Just to be honest with you, they haven't figured out the technology. It's been since when? 07 it came out? They still ain't finished? Oh, yeah, this is how my Ultima looks right now. You see my previous videos. You see how, uh, you know, it really looks. But check this shit out. If y'all really want to know what's going on. All right, the manual computer's here. You see no more CVT computer. All right. Yeah, I got, this, got the transmission in, the bleeder in, got the clutch master in, the engines in, gator, t gator um, belts in for the alternator and uh, AC compressor. I did the timing chain, the guides, the valves. Changed the engine harness from a uh, coupe, manual coupe. This is the engine harness from the coupe. Changed the fuse box, everything. It's the whole harness runs to the back to your ABS back there. If you're familiar with this car. And then there's other whole there's other um plugs that go through that harness that actually plugs in to your ABS on the wheel right here. Okay, so the transmission's in. I work Monday to Friday, so I've been doing this shit every every weekend. Today's Sunday, so it is what it is. But the motor's in, transmission's in. What you gotta do is change the transmission mount here. And what I just found out yesterday is that I know the axles are different, right? The axles are different. But you know your uh, passenger side axle has a bearing holder. See that right there? That holds your axle in place. Now the CVT bracket is different than the manual bracket i didn't get that but uh i could get at the dealer for 80 bucks um trying to see if i could get it at my job tomorrow but this has to be changed if you're gonna go from automatic to stick this has to be changed and you have to use the six speed um axles which i'm just buying brand new ones but i have the axles but i'm just buying brand new ones just because I changed everything on this car, might as well, all right? So here's the thing that everybody's gonna cringe about. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, the car, the car, yeah. Well, e-brakes in, all right? E-brake on the automatic CVT sits here. The pedal's in, all right, brake, gas. Harness is just here waiting to get plugged in. Um, everything's connected. Uh, I don't I really don't make videos like that and go into real detail with it. But you have to change the <laughs> dash harness. Also, everything has to be changed. So this is literally gonna be a four door coupe right now. And yeah, we got stick shift. It's in the car. Everything bolts up. Everything bolts up, man. I don't know what else to tell y'all people, but everything bolts up. Like, if you're going to go CVT to stick, everything lines up. The only thing you have to change and actually put is the the clutch reservoir, the master cylinder for the clutch. That has to be drilled. You got to drill that hole. Either that or the bolts line up. Uh, I haven't really seen anybody on YouTube do this. That's why I'm doing a cheap quality video with my cell phone right now. But everything's together. I could literally put the dashboard in, um, cluster in, and try to start it. Now, I know one problem that I might have is the key, the smart, intelligent key problem. But when I change the complete harness, I change every box that's to the key on the CVT. I changed it over to the new harness so i shouldn't have a problem 
even if I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call, if I don't tow it to Nissan, I'll just call Papa Lock and they could do it. They got, they got the machine to do it, to change the transmission of uh, the transmitter in my key and make it know the new ECU. But literally everything is together. Like literally could just put a battery in it and plug in the cluster and see if it starts. But I'm not going to do it that way because I'm going to make sure everything's ready to go. You understand? Uh, used to do shit half ass when I was younger, dealing with the Hondas. But not this time. I'm not going to do it with this Nissan. Um, yeah, but the engine's in there, man. I don't know what to tell you. The transmission... You can see the starter's difference in the front. Um, I moved the gear shifter for you already. So, you can see I'm not bullshitting. It's in there. All right, I got brand new factory headers in there for now. Somebody's trying to call me right now. Let me delete that. Decline that call real quick. But, yeah. Everything's cool. Just waiting to finish this car. And then the truck is going to get painted. Just put the carbon fiber grill on the truck, you know. But it is what it is. I'm just letting you guys know. Motor's in the car. Stick shift. Tranny's in the car. Shift is in the car. The harness is in the car. Well, There's three harnesses you have to change. The body harness, the engine harness, and the dash harness has to be changed. It's a lot of work. If, you, if, you, if you're a hands-on guy and you're willing to take the task, it could be done. All right? The next video probably be edited, showed you with the car running, driving with the new wheels. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys, but um, a lot of people asking me a lot of questions online. So I just decided to do a quick video unedited real fast and changing my interior into red. So I'm changing and painting a lot of pieces right now. That's all I'm really doing. So it is what it is. You know, I got the red leather seats in there already, so I'm just doing pieces, a few pieces. Everything that's tan is going red. Everything that's I thought was gray is actually brown on these Ultimas. It's like a dark brown, just like my dashboard. So, uh, got my dashboard out already, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm not used to this country shit neither, bro. I'm a New York guy. I'm in Texas right now, but, uh, Check this out. Show you real quick. It's my front end over there. Ready to support my bumper and my dash. Look, it's it's not it's not gray. It's not. It's like a dark brown. So I might have to paint the dashboard. Might as well while it's out, right? And uh, that's the automatic console. The stick shift console actually bolts right in. Fits. It fits. Everything fits. This is my skid plate. If you're wondering what this metal thing is. Yeah, that's what I got under my car. So you can see where it's scraping. <laughs> but yes, I do have a skid plate. And this little hole is for me to drain my oil. So don't be stupid, guys. If you're riding on the floor like me slammed, protect your motor. Protect your transmission. Um... So y'all guys know I'm not bullshitting. Here's the CVT. Here it goes. Out here, left it in the rain. Really don't care about it. I'm gonna get probably like 60 to 80 bucks core for it. No, um, fuck this shit. Fuck CVT. And uh, these are the new wheels that are going on the car. M37, they come on uh, the Q50s too. They're 20 by nine inch wide. Yeah, so these are going to go red too. Interior red, wheels red, round on 20, slam to the ground, all right? And you know what I have on it already, the 370Z wheels. I got another set of 370Z wheels. So you know those are eight, eight inch wide in the front, nine and a half wide in the rear. So I'm going to put nine and a half all the way around. And ride on the 18s for a little bit get those powder coated and uh start going to the shows and just riding through the city and uh on the 20s you know but uh it's almost 10 minutes 
on this video. Maybe you made it this long. If you have, I appreciate it. Hit the like button. I don't care. Hit the dislike button. But I'm doing things and saying things that people won't tell you. They tell you, yeah, you got to change this. You got to change that. You got to do this. You got to do that. It's all bullshit, man. It's all smoke and mirrors. Remember that. Because you're always going to run into something that the next man didn't tell you. All right? See, I got an old school. I got a Hyundai. I got a truck. Like, you're going to believe someone that works on the car or you're going to believe a guy that's saying, hey, you put the jack on the vehicle at this point? No. I'm not doing my videos like that. If you're an asshole and you don't even know how to work on a car, then don't touch the fucking car. Find a guy like me, and I'll do it for you. Just got to pay the cash shoulder. You know what I mean? So, basically, yeah. It's almost done. And, um... Waiting for parts, waiting for axles, waiting for that little, uh, this bearing. It holds the bearing on your axle. On the automatics is different. On the six speed, it's totally different. So you gotta order that. So $80 from the dealership if you don't grab it off the stick shift engine. I didn't know. I didn't grab it. So next time, you already know. This should probably be moving by the time you see it. So uh, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. You'll see a lot more coming my way. Um, truck will be done soon, man. And when you're out there in the streets, watch for motorcycles, man. Respect those guys. Watch for the two-wheelers, man. All right? Next time, hit me up with a comment. I'll drop a quick video again for you, let you know the update. Um, don't know what my GoPro is. It is what it is, man. This is Sparks. Um... Signing out, man.